Hello, hello! Welcome to this new video. This time we're going to be talking about radio settings in the Meraki portal, specifically talking about RF profiles or radio frequency profiles. So um, let's go over that really quick and cover the basics. So what are RF profiles? Um, I would define RF profiles as radio configuration settings that you can create that are going to be applied to access points. And that means that you can configure and customize settings for the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band. So why would you need to configure RF profiles? Um, in most basic deployments, you don't have to configure anything, right? You only set up the access points and most of the time it works. In situations where you have large Wi-Fi networks or Wi-Fi networks with unique um, connection needs, you may have to adjust the settings of the access points. And one of the ways that you're going to do that in the Meragi configuration console is through the implementation of RF profiles. So as you can imagine, you are going to have different type of deployments and it may be that within your deployment, you're going to have an area that is going to have different, different needs. Perhaps you're going to have a lecture hall or you're going to have classrooms and you're going to have an office environment or within the same network. And it's going to be beneficial for the Wi-Fi administrator to create profiles for those specific needs instead of letting the system automatically uh, adjust the, the configuration. Um, Meraki offers two, um, two basic profiles, a basic outdoor profile and a basic indoor profile and it allows you to create more profiles. We're going to go over that soon. Uh, when you create a deployment, if it is an indoor deployment, the system automatically is going to assign the basic indoor profile if you don't specify anything else. And the same thing for outdoor profiles. If you don't specify anything, the system automatically is going to assign the outdoor profile to that access point. Now, one of the questions that we get asked is, don't access points automatically adjust the radio frequency settings by default? Meaning that if you have uh, many access points in a wireless deployment, don't the access points automatically adjust the power settings and the channels? Uh, if they see that there's some type of interference with other access points and they do to an extent but all that is going to be within the confinements of the profiles that you have applied to that access point that's why you would like to create specific profiles for different type of access points and different types of environments so um, how do you know the proper profile settings that you should implement or the proper settings that you're going to implement on that profile. Um, the truth is, uh, let's go over this real quick, for instance, how do you know the proper power settings that you're going to have on that profile that is going to be applied to an access point? There's no easy answer to it. Uh, the Wi-Fi administrator would have to do a Wi-Fi survey and perhaps run spectrum analysis to determine what the proper configuration settings are going to be for that profile. But there are best practices that you can use, right? For instance, if you know you're going to be doing a um, a deployment that in a school, for instance, uh, that you're going to have access points on each classroom or perhaps every other classroom in that case you may want to reduce the power settings to something that's going to make sense to you for that specific environment depending on how many users you're going to have and how far the uh, 
the clients are going to be from the access point. So there's no easy answer to it, but it is doable. A lot of these things are like implementation. You implement at first, try it, see the results, and then adjust to find your own balance. So um, let's go over this, um, what you're going to do first in the wireless, in the Meraki console, you would go to wireless, you would go to um, radio settings, this is where you're going to find uh, this, let's get out of this page, which is the same page actually, uh, radio settings, this is the overview, you would like to go to RF profiles, you click here, as you can see, um, I have um, a couple of profiles that I have copied and created, but the default settings are basic indoor and basic outdoors. Uh, you have more uh, options, more templates. If you click on new profile, you're going to see that Meraki has five pre-configured templates that you can use. You can use uh, for auditorium, classroom, outdoor, uh, conference and open office space. So what this is is that Meraki understands that basic needs for this different type of environments and it has already created a profile for you. Um, obviously I would suggest that if you want to use any of these templates you customize it to your specific needs because these are just general best practice settings. It's not necessarily what's going to be required in your specific environment. Or let's do this. Let's create a new profile from scratch. So you click on that. Uh, you name it, uh, whatever you want to name it. I'm going to do this. This is um, my profile. And let's go over this real quick. When you do that, you're going to have the option of applying this profile to all SSIDs or per SSIDs and you're going to have all the customization options that are capable to be customized on these radios. So uh, this is whether if you want to implement the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz band on this profile, right? Or if you just want to select the 5 gigahertz band or the 2.4 gigahertz band, it's completely up to you. And you can also do it to all SSIDs or you can do it per SSID. As you can see here, you can pick and choose the um, radio frequencies you want to enable in there. And if you have the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz band, uh, you may want to enable band steering, right? So um, let's do that. So band steering is um, a technology that um, allows um, wire, wire, wireless clients to choose the 5 gigahertz band if the device is capable of connecting to it. So there is a great solution to free up the 2.4 gigahertz that is saturated in more you know, in most environments. But again, that is depending on your configuration. Uh, then you can come here and you could do a, a minimum bit rate. And again, you can set the minimum bit rate uh, per band or per SSID. And the minimum bit rate is the uh, minimum rate that the access point is going to be able to communicate to clients for management frames. It's not necessarily in this case the bandwidth is just the man management frame speed. So uh, on the 2.4, the minimum bit rate is 11 uh, megabits per second. And uh, that is what 802.11b uses to uh, connect to what 802.11b devices use to connect to access points that support 802.11b. So a good best practice if you don't support 802.11b devices in your Wi-Fi network is to change this setting to at least 12. And once you do, you're going to see here 802.11b devices not supported. Uh, this is something that you definitely want to do in all your networks. 
because you don't want an old <coughs> device to or an old 802.11b device to connect to your production Wi-Fi network and then slow everything down that that's gonna be a nightmare for you and it's sometimes it's very hard to troubleshoot too if you're not expecting this to happen and then it happens um, so once you do it you could do it per band or per SSID right so we'll do it per SSID right here just for you to see it's the same thing as doing it per band and then from here we have another option that says client load balancing the default setting for this is on and this is a great option I, I always leave it enabled uh, I've never had the need to disable this option and what this is gonna do for you is gonna allow uh, Meragi to use its internal algorithms to determine the uh, access point client connections load and it's going to adjust its load depending on the amount of concurrent connections at any given time it's not only based on the number of concurrent connections it's based on the on the performance of the access point so the algorithm uh, is something proprietary uh, to Meraki I assume I know that other vendors support this type of solutions too but it is a great solution I mean like y you could play with it I always leave it on and you know it just works fine this is one of those settings that that I always leave on uh, then we go down to the individual band settings or radio settings so you as you can see we have the 2.4 uh, radio settings and we have the 5 gigahertz radio settings and this is for you to adjust the power settings to whatever makes sense to you in your specific environment um, perhaps you know if you don't know which power setting to use maybe you want to rely on the uh, default templates and go from there but um, this is uh, how much power the antennas are going to use to broadcast the signal as you can imagine uh, playing with these power settings is going to affect how far the signal travels and how much coverage is going to be provided by the specific access points where this template or where this profile is applied to uh, but again it's one of those settings that you would like to uh, test before deployment and the same thing goes for the channels that you would like to use uh, for this um, uh, profile uh, on the 2.4 you have the default channels 1 6 and 11 uh, and you can disable them you can disable one of them if you want to create a profile only for channel 1 or for channel 6 you can do that right and the same thing for the 5 gigahertz band you have the option of of, of uh, selecting uh, the channels on the unit 1 to the unit 2 extended or unit 3 and you can also uh, select or deselect the DFS uh, channels if you don't want to have any issues with a radar or something you know you, you have to make sure that you know where you're deploying this uh, so you could do this and as you could see uh, it's very informative it shows you the channels on the 20 uh, megahertz and then if you're using the 40 gigahertz i mean megahertz i mean it's going to show you what they're going to be in the same for 42. All right so um for for 80 i mean so th those are the options for the channels on the uh, 5 gigahertz 5 gigahertz band you can click on that um and then uh, th there's another setting I have never um, implemented this uh, but I'm sure there's a reason for this setting to be there and that is to set the RX up option and what that is is a technology that allows the um, access points to adjust more settings depending on the receiving signals from the access points it is a very advanced and complex configuration uh, that applies to Wi-Fi devices uh, you know if you click on that it can kind of gives you this warning right here like make sure you know what you're doing 
Uh, I've never had the need to deploy this uh, yet. I'm sure that there's a reason for this. Um, if you ever come across uh, a reason for that, let me know. I'll, I'll be happy to, to learn about it. So once you have um, created your, your profiles, right? You, you have to implement and you have to deploy them to your access point. So how would you do that now that we have, um, oh, this is, this is my profile. How do you apply this profile to the access points? Uh, you would go back to overview. Uh, you're gonna have the list of access points right here. Um, I only have one. This is my uh, test environment. But you know, if you have hundreds of access points or as many as you have, you'll see them listed here. And as you could see on the um, RF profile tab, it's going to show you the uh, current profile that your system is using. I'm using the uh, this profile copy of basic. And uh, you can change that just by going to edit settings and assign profiles and you'll have the option of selecting the profile from here. Once you do that, oh no, this is not the one. Where is it? This is my profile. Uh, it's gonna give you a warning of what's gonna happen. Uh, it's gonna clear up the configuration, which means that um, it's gonna disconnect um, a lot of uh, connections out of your system and uh, it's gonna clear the channels and all that so uh, make sure that you do this in a, in your maintenance window or uh, advise users of the changes that are about to take place and once you do it the uh, profile is gonna uh, be applied to the access point so that is how you create a uh, an, R, an, R, an RF profile in Cisco Meraki. It's a great tool for you to use and, and to configure the settings that you would like to configure for your specific environment. Uh, I hope this um, video helped you and you have a great day.